and we I'm gonna open up Alone in the Dark and we shall play some more. Okay. Let me um get it up. Okay, there we go. Let me turn off Spotify. Turn up the game on here. If it is too loud or too low, then please let me know in the comments and I will try my best to um, sort that out, turn it down or turn it up. Which I <laughs> I'm Kate, I go by Lila Day or Lila Day or whatever you want to call me um, here on YouTube and Twitch. And today, today is the 12th of April. Is it 12th? Yeah, it's the 12th of April today. And we are currently streaming on Twitch. Um, we are back with Alone in the Dark. Um, I haven't played this in a while, which is why there hasn't been any videos up on YouTube. Um, I haven't streamed in a few, it's been a good few days since we streamed. Um, but we're back and we're going to play some more Alone in the Dark. If you want to come join us on Twitch at some point, then there are links down in the description box down below. So just check out that box. You will find my my Twitch on there, so you can come join us for a stream. And please feel free to. And you've got my Discord and my Twitter. So we last. I cannot remember where we last left off. I think it's this. Part, yeah. yeah I, mean, I mean, it's on the screen. We are currently playing as Emily Hartwood, who is played by Jodie Farmer. And we are on track to the Hateful Mount. And I've enjoyed this game so far. It's been a good game to play. So we're going to play it now. And hopefully we won't get too scared. I don't think I've, I've, I think I've been alright with this. So we've played two hours in this game. So let's see what's going to happen next. Hope you're all doing all right, by the way. Aha, uh -huh, I remember where we are there now. Yep, I'm... Ooh! It's like a little secret area over here. Can I get through there? Yeah. Someone's gonna pop out at me, innit? Yeah. Do you have to make those noises? What have you got? I almost mi missed that. A pallet! Cool. Ah, oh, what's this? It's a pallet, Emily. I'm not the best when it comes to gaming, so there is a chance that I might miss a lot of things. Yeah. Do we need that? Okay, that's cool. And if, if it's laggy, it's the game, it's not my computer, it's not the stream, it's the game. This game is actually quite laggy on my computer, to be honest with you. Sometimes it's quite hard for um, the... Um um I wonder if you can... Oh, that's old school modern. Okay. What did you split? Ooh. 
maybe if I change the graphics a little bit, then it might help. That has actually seemed to help a lot. Yeah, that's that's quite that's helped quite a lot actually. Okay, cool. Let's look around with these games. I thought we had a flashlight. It won't let me out of this part. I guess we're going in this room here. Right, what's in here? More bullets. Oh, so you can have the pipe or the um, spark.
I can break this, I just need something to hit it with. Alive. It's breathing. Is 
Like that. Hmm. Okay, why did that door shut and one didn't? Ready to go in that other cabin? I, I don't know. <clears throat> I do not know if I'm ready. <laughs> I guess we have to. I love it. Statuette? That looks freaky. I'm good, how are you? I'm glad that you're good, I'm doing good too. I'm doing good. Does anyone know if you have like boss fights in this game? I'm pretty sure that you do, right? Huh. 
Tamam. Oh, you great, not good, you great. I thought you said good then. <laughs> While a nod is running. <sighs> Alone in the dark has boss battles. The game's second and final boss is Shub Nagaroff. Also known as the Black Girl of the Woods, an ancient deity, another worldly being. Okay. <laughs> so there is bosses. That's nice. That's great. Damn it, there has to be a way to get to the other side.
sauf quoi Just don't look down, Emily. I guess we're using the clock. Turning into two right now. Too quiet. <laughs> it's too quiet. No, it's not. What's that noise? Set on fire with everybody else. Have I even got enough bullets to fight that thing? The hateful mound Jeremy mentioned in his book. The hateful mound? Oh, not off in there, are we? Have a look. There's no spiders in this game, is it? Jeremy, <laughs> you dropped your. <gasps> Who's that? Mrs. Marcus? Get off of me! What are you doing here? Trying to find my uncle. Jeremy is your uncle? Could you please? <sighs> Thank you. And it's Miss Hartwood. You don't remember me? I remember you, Mr. Bois. I met your brother, Batiste, earlier. I suppose he hadn't found Jeremy either then. We spread out to find him. Can I have this? I'm trying to get to Tarawea. Fine. Believe the rest. I just want Jeremy to come looking. We have to leave before it comes inside. What? Where? Come quick. Go back to the back of the Thank God we're back inside the house. Oh, God damn my soul. <sighs> I'm back at Dorsetto. Hello? Hmm. Can I have that? Stop putting guns on display if I cannot have them.
left holding the bag. Pallet knife. So we've got a pallet knife and a pallet. Let's go. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts by Juan Luis Jorge. To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. Oh, we've got like some um, Tavris. But did he? Um... Okay. Um, Tat is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become root and rigid, in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the unexpected choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by terror at this revelation and become paralysed or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you were able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This, wait. Has he already read that? Never mind, he's already read it. Okay. <gasps> Sitting room key? Cool, we need that. The map is updated with information. Well, hello. The dream of the grave under the shin. Oh, we still got to do the boiler. Forgot about that. Where is the um sitting room? So we've explored what is room. So the places where it says explored, does that mean that there's something in their room that we have not collected? We've got the key, sitting room key. Okay, sitting room key is near Grace's room. Back outside to the conservatory. We need to go through the library. It's wet shut. Maybe it's a point now. It worked. <sighs> oh, we've got a new room. I didn't touch anything in this room though. What is that? Dog colour? What's this? Okay. There's nothing in there. Sell key! That is what we need. Why, why is it in this room? 
The Barlow Lens. Instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow Lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. So I'm guessing we're going to be using a um, telescope soon? On that? Never mind, the telescope is right here. I don't have everything I need. Oh, do we not have it? Never mind, we need to find it out. There's a box there. And there's like a box up there. Whose room are we in? Okay, before we go to the cellar, um, I want to check out the um, same room. See what we can find in there. And once we find the fin for the telescope, then we will probably come back up here and use that. This is where we saw roof last time. Where is she? like to see her again we've had a traumatic experience okay. I am gonna be checking the map a lot um, so we are in the plaza okay so we have to go through the stair hall We have to go through the plaza. Okay, I think we've gone the wrong way there. That's someone's room. Have we gone through the wrong, wrong way? Yeah, I think we have to like... Yeah. Once in this game, I've just realised. I don't want to jinx it though. <sighs> Bear's gonna come alive one day. I know it. Okay. <laughs> so we're back here. So the same room should be this door here. What's that stain? Looks like some kind of rot. Why did you have to mention the stain? Why? There we go. Come on, Grace. I'm too tired for games. I'll even let's play with my jackknife. Don't let her play oh, please. Good evening. <laughs> You haven't seen a little girl by any chance, have you? I don't think so. Uh, you would have known if you did. Don't kid crazy enough to be in this place. She's not in her room, then? <laughs> that would be a first. Always running around causing trouble. She's very hard to pin down, that one. You want a sip? I'm good, thank you. Well, I should be going, then. <clears throat> Unless there's anything. I just want to find my uncle before anything happens to him. 
Oh, don't worry, miss. He'll show up. <laughs> he is much too lily-livered to kill himself. Why would he? <laughs> it's his greatest ambition, didn't you know? Take care now. There's something missing. Can we find something for that? Quite a few dolls here. So we've got Grace's room. So this is Grace's room. Cute. Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. Two beds in here. I, I don't like dolls. <laughs> Why are the heads coming off? I feel like this should be something more to this room, but there isn't really. We're just going to take the toys, Chris. <laughs> We're taking them all. seen this somewhere. Oh no, not enough to find the combination for that. Not enough one of those. Uh, this... Is it this one? No. That obviously has something to do with the telescope, right? That's the first one we did. So we can't be that one. I think I have it yet. Thank you. 
she recognize? This must be the great Cassandra Beauregard's room. I'm not sure what I expected. Maybe something more extravagant? Oh, this is Cassandra's room. Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. This has something to do with Cassandra, so I'm looking for... What's that? Um, I need something else. I'm not sure I have everything I need. Nope, we need one more medicine. Where is that gonna be? That's gonna be locked up in that, isn't it? The last medicine that we need is gonna be in that. Yeah. Okay, Cassandra, Cassandra, Cassandra. Do I even have anything of Cassandra's? 